Welcome to Big D's Woodshop. In my last video about the acorn birdhouse, <clears throat> I got a comment. A fellow wanted to see um, exactly how I hollowed out the inside or, or achieved the, the hollow place inside the, the acorn for the bird's nest. And today, um, I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is kind of just like a follow-up to the to the acorn birdhouse. So let's get to work. Okay, the first thing I do um, when I start off with making this birdhouse is I decide how I want to orient the boards. Okay, and as you can see here, I got the carpenter's triangle got them numbered one two three four and five okay once I've decided that then number one and number five doesn't need anything further done to them. number four three and two they need to be laid out for the hollowing process here you can see we got number two and number four are laid out exactly the same, which that in, involves um, you come in an inch and three quarters and an inch and three quarters and make a line and two and a quarter and two and a quarter up from the bottom and make a line across the top and the bottom. And that gives you an opening that is four inches by six and three quarters. That'll all be hollowed out on on the inside, and I'll show you, or cut out rather. On uh, I'll show you in a minute how I do that. Okay, that's for the number two and the number four, which are the same. The number three, it's a little bit bigger. You only come in an inch from each end, and of course the same two and a quarter and two and a quarter. That gives you the wider spot for the keys to go in um, and I'll show you how that works uh, later on too so the way I start out hollowing is I go and I take it over to the drill press and I drill um, a half inch hole or whatever in the corner and uh, we'll do that next here we are over the drill press. We're just going to drill the clearance holes in the four corners for our blade to start. Don't really have to drill four of them. I just find it easier to um, to drill all of them rather than trying to cut into the tight corners. And it, it really it really doesn't matter. The birds don't really care. I guess if the corners are square or rounded or whatever. Here we go. So there you have it. Corners all drilled out. Let's go on to the next step. <clears throat> Here we are over at the scroll saw. I'm going to use a scroll saw to cut the inside out for the cavity in our birdhouse. There's a, if you don't have a scroll saw, you can use a jigsaw, which, uh, Right at the moment, I don't happen to have any blades for mine, or I would I would show you that method also. But any any way you can um, get the interior cut um, will work. Um, you could even use a sawzall. 
if that's what you have. Um, a coping saw, you know, that would work. So let's get to it. So there you have it. The inside's cut out of this piece. I got two more to do and I'll see you over at the workbench. Oh, um, for those of you that's interested, this is a hook to seven teeth per inch blade made by Olson. Um, the number is 4800. Uh, it don't really have a number. Usually they have a number, but I don't, I don't see it nowhere on this. But this is the blade that I used, if, you, if you're interested. See you over at the bench. Well, now that we have our pieces cut out, we're ready for the assembly. As you can see, there's, like I said before, there's, these two are the same. This one is a little bit bigger. And what that, what that uh, makes possible is, see, these two are the same size. This one is larger. That make, creates uh, a place for the top to be keyed in. The top, you rip and cut these little keys or cleats. And they're fastened into the, the top with screws and glue. Then, what that, like I said, what that makes possible is that you can take and key that in there. And that holds it in place. Plus, it gives you a place to put your screws so you can take it apart as needed to clean out. So I cut mine out on the scroll saw as you saw, but there's other ways, like I said. You can use a jigsaw. Just go ahead and drill your four holes, put your blade through the hole and saw it out. If you don't have a scroll saw or a jigsaw, then you can use a coping saw or a fret saw sometimes. You just go ahead and drill your holes like you did before the other operations, thread your blade through the holes, and then you can cut out the interior. When I put mine together, I use Tight Bond Ultimate Wood Glue. It says it's waterproof and it's for exterior or interior. I've always had good luck. I use it with all my projects, whether it's indoor, outdoor, or whatever. I always use this glue. I love it. Um, I've had the best luck with it. I've never had it fail. So, now that we got our pieces cut out, they're ready to be glued up. Get your triangle lined up. 
get your number five piece and your number one piece. Now you want to make sure you get plenty of glue on your surfaces. You want to make sure that you got plenty of contact. You want to make sure that these surfaces are flat to one another and that they fit really good. You don't want to you don't want to have no voids or uh, you don't want to have a glue starved joint or this thing could fly apart and cause you to have a really rotten day. As you saw in my video, the first video, this thing moves along pretty fast. Um, and it, it, the first one I ever made years and years ago was pretty scary. Uh, I almost never made another one I was so scared. But um, I've, uh, I found that if uh, done properly and, properly and glued up properly, there's no problem. I also have uh, for my shop smith what's called a speed reducer, which on larger projects it helps. Um, I didn't feel the need for it at this project. It, uh, there was much vibration, so I didn't use it. But that's how I uh, cut out the recesses in the metal for the bird's net, bird house. So, I really appreciate each and every one of you for watching my video, and I thank you for watching them. And uh, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching.